You like gave me one compliment? What'd you say before? You're like, you look cute. <laughs> Yo, that's it. My day was made right there. It was like one co- today. Lila gave me a compliment. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I know. Oh. oh, yo, we're still like straight up playing. <laughs> Go. <laughs> when you look into my eyes, what do you see? Okay, I think when you ask me that, it makes me think about how when we, since we FaceTime for so long, and it's like, I don't know, like looking into your eyes now in person, mm-hmm. it's like, now they're right there, you know? Yeah. I felt like I knew you because we had spoken for how many hours, you know, in like four. Four. <laughs> like nights on FaceTime and all day and watching movies. I really, I don't even think that there's words to like. I remember seeing you in 4D or 5D, whatever, real life. Real life. And I'm like, yo, her face. It was crazy. It was crazy. I kept hugging you to like feel you and stuff. Yeah. And I want to shake you. I know. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like, how do you, and there was so much anticipation built. Like we spent so long being like, I want to meet you. But we were in quarantine. And then that And you live 800 miles away. Yep. How do you describe the story of us? First, I started off by saying it's crazy. People are like, what? Tell me about it. (laughs) I'm like, okay. Uh, tell them about like the you know 2016 how you messaged me i messaged you you messaged me i messaged you <laughs> based off of one picture i went to her page to see to see more pictures she had none she had none i was very upset <laughs> so i had to let her know so i messaged her and i was like i'm very upset you only have one picture but that one picture you look great for like six months we managed to stay in contact mm-hmm. without a meeting that's crazy that's crazy. like how many people do you have conversations with online that are just like a quick conversation and then that's it yeah you know it's nuts how many people do you talk to about science also for the first time <laughs> science <laughs> so yeah it's good it's crazy it's humbling humbling yeah why because, you know, I don't know. It's a very rare thing. And it's one thing when, you know, you meet somebody and then you can just take situations for granted, but this isn't like one of those situations. Because mm-hmm. it's, what are the odds? <laughs> yeah. And then it, it wasn't just like a chance thing, like we had to put in work. Yeah. And it's like, there's a reason why we both put in, in the work. like. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's solid. It's my, it's my turn. Yeah. I need to use this card. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what do you think is a possible challenge for us in the future? And what can we do about it now? Very efficient question. Let's go. So lay it on the table. Take care of it. What do I think? is a possible challenge for us in the future. I I don't know what we can do about it now. Figure it out. I don't know. I think you would, you know, if this all never happened, like COVID and stuff, you would have been traveling before everything sh- went down. You were mm-hmm. talking about like, you were gonna go to LA in March and then you were gonna go to LA maybe in July or something. And neither of us still have left Atlanta or New York. <laughs> yeah, like four trips planned. So I think it's easy to be so comfortable with the distance when both of our lives are very limited. Like mm-hmm. I'm just doing school all the time and you're just like hanging out with your friends and doing music. Bowling. Bowling. <laughs> and I yeah. think that in reality, it's much easier to get jealous or like distant or just like sad about it when the other is like ex- like doing a lot and right now i would say that compared to before compared to like real life we're not doing that much you know i'm doing so much really no <laughs> <laughs> i hear you. i know what you're saying um what we can do about it now 
live in the f live in know. the present, right? And build a stronger foundation mm -hmm. and just yeah, make memories, right? Describe the moment you realized I was in love with you. When I realized you were in love with me? Yep. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess like I like the way that you phrased it before, where your definition of I remember I asked you, like, what's the difference between being in love versus loving someone? And your definition was uh, being in love means that you're always choosing that person. That's like a <laughs> big in the foundation of what I think is kind of like that defining. Like, I felt that you always choose me, you know, plus the way you look at me. Uh, <laughs> Our conversations. Yeah. I felt your gates come down a lot. Did I ever say that right? Gates? Walls. Walls. <laughs> <laughs> gates. <laughs> My walls. Yeah. Yeah. After we met, yeah, slowly. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I wish we could quantify it or something so like we could, you know, know right off the bat. Yeah. Is there a moment? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think I would have a moment. That I can point one out either. I'm not sure. I'm still learning, but I know that I had that switch before of like how set I was on you. And like usually, I don't know, I think it's more natural when things are kind of like this as opposed to like a, you know? Sure. Because like, what happens? What's going on? That it's just like, that, <laughs> you know, as opposed to that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hear you. No, I, mean, I agree. It was the switch, I think. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to mess up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We did do it. Anything else you want to ask me? Let's just put it for future. Where would you like to see this relationship kind of go forward from here? Um, I think, well, the reality of it is I'm stuck here for the next couple of years in school, in my program. What school? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'll be in, in my program for two and two more years and you have no idea where you're going to be in six months to a year where you're going to be living what you're going to be doing but i think that we've continued we've like stayed such a constant in each other's life and like someone to go to mm -hmm. that i can see that remaining i think for a long time and growing and you know obviously the distance is a thing and it's kind of like is the distance ever going to end or what <laughs> but i don't think that that's a question that's possible to answer right now because neither of us have any idea what where we're going to go you know but as for now there's no pressure on that <laughs> How are you going to answer that question? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, there you I'm go. Lead, I already have three sweatshirts at your place. Yeah. Two undies. And a toothbrush. That's it. You have your toothbrush there. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Period. Period. <laughs> Hey, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Nick from The Skin Deep, and I just wanted to let you know that we've taken some of our most powerful questions from these sessions and put them into the end card game. So if you want to have more meaningful conversations, if you want to have deeper conversations in your life with the people you love, go to shop.theskindeep.com and check them out. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. We love you.